Yeah, it's time for the purple and black Wolverines and Lady Wolverines of ATL. Welcome, Black Morris Brown College. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 HBCUs in 100 Days, powered by the number one mobile reader for the culture, the underrated report. And today is all about Morris Brown College. Hey, man, why y'all not feature my HBCU? Yo, we're going to feature every HBCU. That is our goal. That's our promise. But if you want to see yours sooner, you have to put it in the comments. The more comments your school has, the sooner we get it up. That's the best way we can do it for now. So let's do it. Back to the video. Founded January 5th, 1881, the Morris Brown Colored College was named after Bishop Morris Brown. What happened was some trustees from Clark College, which is one part of Clark Atlanta University, came to Big Bethel Church and asked for some money. And this man named Layman Stewart Wiley said, yo, if we could afford to give them some money for this, why can't we just do our own? And this other man named Reverend Wesley John Gaines said, say less. And so they founded the first educational in Georgia that was under sole African-American patronage. Morris Brown Colored College. And the school took off. I mean, they had like a hundred and some students just to start off. And they got all the way up to like 2,500 students. But then it started to turn and it came to a head right around Y2K. They didn't have a President Dolores Cross and financial aid director Parvis Singh were caught stealing financial aid money from the government. But they were actually taking the money and paying for things at the school because they didn't have no money. 